Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Brian of Hudson's County and I'm glad that you could join me today. Today we're going to be doing a quick uh, TTRPG talk about the game Villain The Villainess is Dispossessed. The concept and art for this game was created by Julia Henkin, while the writing and the publishing were done by Richard Kelly. The Villainess is Dispossessed is a game that is inspired by a subgenre of fiction that follows a royal figure and their retinue as they're being forced into unusual circumstances. I have most commonly seen this in uh, Japanese and Korean media, uh, like uh, two of the very specific examples that the uh, creators reference in the manual, uh, Yona of the Dawn and My, Le My Next Life as a Villainess. The game, The Villainess is, deep, is Dispossessed, uh, has a recognizable anime feel to it in the starting scenario, just like the you know, inspiring media. The royal figure is called the princess. They were the heir to a kingdom or some other leadership position that can be, you know, changed by the whatever you would prefer. But it has been decided that they need to be disowned and banished because they have a villainous reputation. However, they have also recently uh, undergone a change of personality due to a classic reason, a blow to the head. Their banishment goes ahead despite this change, but it is suggested that if the princess shows that they have changed, uh, have truly changed, and sort of made up for their past by marrying well, then they might be allowed to return. This is a multiplayer-only game requiring at least three players. The first of our players takes the role of the game master, another the titular princess, and the remaining players take the role of the princess's retinue. Each has a special role in the mechanics of the game and also create a part of the backstory for the game and the narrative in the sort of session zero or beginning of the game. In an interesting choice, the retinue and the princess are actually mechanically different from one another in order to reflect their roles in the narrative. I won't go into the details here, but the retinue is quite competent at getting things done, but each potential failure drains, their, uh, drains a limited pool of resources should they wish to overcome the odds anyway. The princess is a little less able at doing certain things, but has more influence over the narrative and can help the retinue recover their limited resources at certain times. While the objective given in the starting scenario is to help the princess find a worthy marriage partner, you should not feel pressured to seek out that goal when playing this game. There is certainly a lot of room for the princess and the retinue to find a satisfying end outside of their previous life, maybe not returning to, you know, royal life or the palace or whatever they had before, or finding alternative ways of returning without having to resort to the built-in romance of the game, such as one of the suggestions make at the head of an invading army. Overall, I find that this could be a quite interesting game that could be good for a short running campaign. If you find yourself curious about this game after our quick look, it is actually a part of the Seasonal Selects uh, Spring TTRPG Bundle on itch.io. This bundle includes 34 different games, all themed on spring, time, nature, new beginnings, and various other related subjects. Both links to the bundle and to the game, game page itself are on itch are in the description down below. If you would like to support the uh, channel uh, in any way, you can also go ahead and take a look at links to very games that I have also made in the doobly-doo down below if you wish to support uh, Hessens County as well. Thank you very much for watching, and do have a good zone.